Oscar TV at the Sunset Speedway double shot weekend here for the Oscar Modifieds and the Oscar Super Late Model Tour. Standing alongside the second place finisher in the Oscar Modified A-Main, Brad Pearsall. Brad, uh, two starts this season, two podium finishes. This is a heck of a turnaround from some of the bad luck you guys had in 2012. Uh, what are you guys putting into this car that's different from last season? I tell you, it's a heap load of work. Um, you know, last year we won the Hard Luck Awards. We had just bad luck and uh, we worked hard this winter. Uh, Jeff Walt and I, we plugged away on this car and we've turned it around from something that was so horrible into something that is really nice, really good piece. I mean, it's, it's not that it's just a second place car by circumstance or, any, or anything. You guys absolutely earned a second place finish tonight and a third place finish at Barrie. I mean, what's it like to be running at the front of the field against some of these guys and being able to track, <laughs> track down the lead? Uh, it's definitely nice. It's, um, it's frustrating when you're having problems and it's so nice to overcome them finally and running up front. Um, as for running with these guys, I'm having a blast. You know, Gary McLean, it was, that was a blast to run with him. I, I've never really had a lot of chances to run with him. So um, I, I'm just, I'm just thrilled we're up here running at the front and uh, we've got a third, a second. Let's see what's next. You got a chance tomorrow afternoon uh, against the same cast of characters tomorrow. Uh, different situation maybe in the way the draw comes out, the way the, the heats play out. What do you guys got to do in order to get that first feature win tomorrow? Because after what we saw today, you guys got to have a little bit something more ready for us. Uh, the car wasn't really the greatest it has been. It was a lot better when it was in the sun. And once it cooled off, it kind of, it didn't really come around for us. It kind of went away. So we're going to work on that. Um, Jeff will be here tomorrow, which will be a huge help. He can steer me in the right direction. And uh, looking forward to what tomorrow brings. We had some storm clouds throughout the afternoon, some cloud cover that really seems like it might have tightened up the racetrack and changed it from maybe the kind of the greasy racetrack that we've seen at Sunset before and at the start of this year uh, as well. Well, do you think that we might see that tomorrow because we're, we're not expecting the same kind of uh, overcast uh, forecast, I guess? I find with this track here, when the sun's out, it's sticky, it's tacky. Um, as for the greasiness, um, it, it, maybe it's other people's opinion. I, I don't really see it, but uh, when it, when it gets cold, if I, I find the track cools off quite a bit, and your car actually changes quite a bit. So we just gotta learn how to keep up with the track, and that's that's what we gotta do now is go back to the drawing board and figure out what we have to do when the track changes like that on us. You've had a little, bit, a little over an hour now to kind of diagnose a second place finish. Have you guys kind of looked at it and said, you know, these are the changes we can make for tomorrow? Uh, we're going to do that basically we sit at home, you know, have a nice cold beer and figure out what exactly we're going to do tomorrow morning and come here with a game plan. Uh, we blew the starter motor actually uh, in practice this morning. It won't start. So uh, we had a red flag during race conditions and we had to get a bump start. Cause Starter motor is no good, so uh, we're gonna put a starter motor on tomorrow and see how it all pans out. You mentioned Jeff Walt, but I know there's a lot of other people behind this uh, this race car and a pretty impressive group of sponsors. And I know Plaza Kia's on board this year and that Kia Optima. I love the Kia Optima idea. It's a cool deal, but uh, I know there's a whole lot of other people involved in this car too. Well, Plaza Kia, like you said, um, Ponderosa Nature Resort, uh, Scott Reinhardt Trailers, Hosking Race Engines. Uh, Highway 400 transmissions, Murph's manufacturing. Um, I'm probably forgetting somebody, but you know, without all these guys, we wouldn't even be able to be here. So it's just a matter of week in and week out. We need people like these that are committed to us, and uh, you know, anybody that can support our sponsors, support the racing, helps everybody go around twofold. So it's just a great thing. Well, hopefully, we see you back here again tomorrow night, Brad. Thanks for this. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow night. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, your second place finisher and the first of two nights here at Sunset Speedway, Brad Pearsall, second in the 30-lap modified A-Main. For Oscar TV, I'm Clayton Johns.